this one. And others for Let's go to the beginning. Attention gamers. Previously on my decision to take a break from a game that I felt was wasting too much of my time, I spent seven hours of my life accomplishing almost nothing as I took countless non-direct flights, walked slowly through zones that looked like infected jizz puddles, and killed a totally appropriate amount of Halloween decorations. Wait, actually, hold on. Where is his frost trap? Oh, there it is. It's bound to H. Bro, you click Hunter's Mark. Okay, whatever. You do you. That had zero rewards that were of use to my character. I popped my Scarlet Monastery Cherry where we pissed off the leader in front of his simps and my healer died as a result, all because I didn't want to spend 45 minutes grinding mobs. Turns out the death I witnessed in my dungeon had jack shit on the sadness of another death from our guild. Fear, that pre it's his pre a level 60 warrior oh. fell victim to the principle of classic WoW known as stupid shit and after watching the clip 600 times I eventually figured out what happened. They were fighting a pack of gangrene ridden bald diabetics when he rushed in and shouted something that weakens them. A little law abiding citizen cockroach <laughs> fell victim to this shout, got pissed off and decided to quietly run off and tell the big man in charge. An end game boss gets aggroed and starts throwing slaps like he's an alcoholic stepfather. Two more sumo wrestlers in body armor spawn and their healer gets erased. He uses his potion of Petri in an attempt to freeze and hope they stop attacking him but the timing is more out of sync than a symphony with a fully deaf string quartet so two months of work get ruined in a fraction of a second and in my brief time learning more about the streaming world all I can say is, oh seven or something. I on the other hand was living my best life. I celebrated my 40th birthday which outside of hitting level cap is the biggest leveling achievement in the game. Yup. The days of walking like a peasant were behind me as I would join the ranks of she who rides steeds. It was also at this point where we learned how Damn. to anger issues into a productive forum. My sensei in the Forge of Irons gave me a confusing speech about wolf packs. I tend to think of myself as a one man wolf pack. And now I know for sure I just added two more guys to my wolf pack. But this finally gave me the tools to grief shitters that I don't like and blame it on others. For example, I could add Howard to my wolf pack and then watch and laugh as he is permanently dazed trying to escape someone who is actively finger popping his asshole. 40 is also apparently the age when I get my dad bod strength and can function in heavy male armor which meant the days of me wearing a condom on my head were over. Then I got to take a trip down memory lane. Through Narnia's asshole where I first met Howard as I thought to myself look how far he's come. But most God. importantly, it was time for me to stick it to those fuckers at Ford and buy me a Ram. Now these are expensive and hardly anyone can afford them right when they turn 40. So you are probably thinking he is just a spoiled shit with streamer benefits. But let me explain why that's not the case. I used an investment strategy where someone told me at a young age, if I invest my money in the hot men bank, then it will double each time it's returned. I had no market data on this bank's performance and nothing to trust. So I started with small amounts gaining more confidence and risk tolerance in my investments until I put in the final the that would grow tax-free into the <laughs> amount I would need to buy my furry vehicle <laughs> when I put my whole net worth on the line. The investment never came back. Oh no. So I resorted to getting fat handouts in a shady dive in Booty Bay smoking cigars with the little wizard like we were the Tate brothers of Azeroth. And then my investment also came back so yeah I could pay oh, for shit. this shit in cash. I named my Ram Rebecca and together with Howard, we would be the sexiest threesome in the world, of Warcraft. It was now time to go back to wasting time as my next objective was apparently to get pissed off at Blizzard. Some unpaid intern in 2004 oh, this must fucking have quest. been like alright we are going to add a patrolling anorexic male man in the game, have her tiptoe around somewhere in the vicinity of this entire galaxy, <laughs> and have an entire quest chain reliant on you fucking finding her so you can steal some love letter she's holding. I tried using random abilities I found in my spell book. Oh I shit! This was doomed, and after close to 90 minutes of pain and suffering, <clears throat> I still couldn't Whoa. find the shit stain. At one point, I thought I hit the jackpot, only to realize those were just the elite guards that took a bloody piss on one of my guildies. And then on the hey. 17th lap, after crop dusting a human mage with Rebecca's stench, she told me that I was about to run into her and her pack of butt buddies. Except that she, for some ungodly reason, called in sick to this particular parade. Like many other things in what? classic WoW, this turned into a goddamn research project for me as I figured I would just <laughs> camp out at her spawn point until That's the female man shows up for her next shift and as I got just layer. this. Oh my god. 
which I'm conditioned like a dog to know means the mob I've been searching for since I was a wee little lad is near and marked as a moon but I couldn't see it anywhere so I deployed 500 IQ strats to send Howard in like a bloodhound only for him to oh. stop like an insubordinate swine. Turns out I got classic wowed and the mob that just spawned decided to disappear. My strategy now turned into killing every <laughs> oh last my God. playing ogre hoping that they are boys with the male man and she'll have to come out to stop their genocide. I even met a tall sexy ass elf on the shelf who was also looking to punch that evasive UPS driver in the cooter so I figured I would exploit him for his kindness tell him I'm looking up the quest details but really I was full blown AFK letting him do work for me thinking I just hacked the leveling system and there was no way this could backfire. A few moments later. God. My AFK arrogance was going to be the end of me as while I was jerking off in the bathroom, my character was getting his ass kicked in, Howard was feeling too passive to defend me and my only shot of survival was now this good Samaritan who wasn't looking too hot himself. Oh my god. The ogre was enraging my health was dropping and I was about to have the most depressing post nut clarity in my life when I returned to my computer but then. Oh my god. He's coming! He doesn't need health! Oh, fuck! Not even close, I told him the whole thing was totally a prank to test his loyalty and then I rewarded him handsomely for his efforts. Anyways, after two hours with the mailman still playing hooky, I said fuck it joined up with some guildies to hit the downs of Razorfin and after seeing the bullshit way our comrade passed away earlier. I gave myself one job throughout this entire dungeon. And you may laugh but here you see that same bullshit could have happened if I didn't shoot the little fucking rodent in his gossip spreading grapevine head and thanks to my mechanics we smurfed on that shit and I got this cotton ball looking stat stick as a reward. I then no stitches to femur? into some ginger pew bush desert and quickly learned that it's not called the good lands for a few reasons. There's giant posses of weaponized sumo wrestlers who hang out in packs of the like bird. 12. One of Dumbledore's left nuts followed me around for six years wanting me to volunteer as tribute to his own virginity hosted fully trinketed Hunger Games. Nah. The zone's nickname is the Dust Bowl probably because you miss every attack as if your eyeballs just deep-throated a bucket of sand and the quest details sounded a hell of a lot like the breakup speech my high school girlfriend gave me when she wanted to start dating seniors instead. Their bodies are stronger and larger and therefore more prone to having pieces large enough for my tests. <laughs> <laughs> so naturally I had to get out of there and switch things up. Can I have gold for my mount? Thanks. Guys, Rav wants gold for the mount. Um, I just got one question. And how much gold? Does Rav deserve gold, guys? I need 80 gold? Oh my god, bro. You might have to do uh, some begging for some of it. That's what I'm doing now. Good point. If you can make it out here in five minutes, I will make it 50 gold. Stopwatch started. Will he make it? <laughs> Aspect of the chita. <laughs> Aspect of the chita. He can make it. Right? But he doesn't have Aspect of the chita. Wait, he said I'll even get my last giblet. Oh my god, he's out here questing. <laughs> That is some fucking... Hold on, did I just see him mounting three up? Three and a half minutes. Can he actually make it out here? He was, he was casting shit. mount. I saw the animation. Nine, he already eight, has a mount. Seven, six, you can't fool five, me. Four, three, two, one. Oh my god. That was... That was pretty... That was pretty, like, on point there. Turning off your stream now. I can't have this parasocial mumbling audio. Maybe. I'm glad he feels the same way about Grace Grayson as I do. Bro, did he just mount? <laughs> what the fuck? Is this a joke? What? There's no fucking way. There ain't no fucking way. I fucking ain't no fucking way. This little bitch mounted? <laughs> nice.
I smell? Did you just... Oh my god! <laughs> and after crushing that first impression... Oh I my god! The proverbial big shot warriors and my presence in this run wasn't gonna go unnoticed. He's pumping? Going melee. Okay, oh my god. Hand. Okay, so this dungeon was disgusting. We had me, Zico, and Sony fully world buffed with Kang the Decapitator and double flurry axes. It was gross. How geared and di it was gross. No, what, wait, what is this guy and we're too high of a level for it. Of his kill. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's actually so badass. Like, He's throwing knives. Okay, <laughs> Let's go, Rev. <laughs> Did you guys pet Howard or no? Aspect of the pack, by the way. <laughs> Glad you could join us, Rev. They also didn't notice that I needed on every single piece of gear that dropped that entire <laughs> run, but when it came time for the final boss, things got serious. All right, we're doing this old style. Careful. I don't even know this guy's mechanics, but I'm sundering. A lot of mobs. I taunted it. All right, we got yeah, five. Worry, we're guys. getting the big sunders here. Kill these ads instantly. We shot out. Uh, AOE shot after that. <laughs> if you have retail, like taunt and then mocking blow and then AOE. Awake, ye servants. Defend the discs. I'm not going to lie. I don't have taunt. I don't have taunt. <laughs> retail. We don't blow. even notice because we're all just looking at the meters down. pumping. A lot of ads. You guys, are, you guys are the fucking tanks. Hello? Target dummy this. <laughs> Execute phase. We defeated Lord Stone Tits only for him to drop a Gigabis item for warriors. God damn! Ooh, of strength. Wait, I actually, guys, I need that. I need that too. As well as idiots playing Hunter. And while the ethical thing to do would be to pass on this, I clearly wasn't making a big enough name for myself. Who is Rav? I don't know who this is. And lessons had to be learned. <laughs> oh my god! Is he, did you just ninja all that? He did. Um, bro? That's funny. <laughs> that group was gross.